Well, hello everyone. Welcome to Rainmakers Roundup. I am your host, Mark Iorio, and I've got Mike Mogan with me today. Mike is the founder and owner of E Beach Wagon. Welcome, man. Thank you. Thank you. Great. Th to thanks for having me. You're welcome. Listen, man, I've been doing this program for s almost six years. This is one of the most exciting things I've done. <laughs> I am not joking. I'm not joking. I love All right. this. All right. I appreciate it. I, I mean, you. Uh, so we're going to show the, the the Beach Wagon in a minute, right? Um, and I don't know if we want to cut over to that, but tell us tell us about the history of this, Mike, because you're you're an engineer, right? You graduate from college. You're uh, you're in you're in the engineering world, and uh, you got a couple children now. You and Tara yep. have a couple yep. kids. Yep. And like a lot of us who have lugged stuff from the house to the beach, you guys you invented this this cool thing. Yeah. So I would say it started uh, probably four years or so, four or five years or so, that when the idea really started to come to us. We spent a lot of time down the beach in, in Cape May area. Sure, sure. Uh, we have a, a little beach place down there. Yeah. And, you know, we had a dog, and there's this Higby's Beach where you're allowed to go there and bring your dog. Oh, yeah. So yeah. with a dog comes, you know, some gear. Like we had to have a, a tent and stuff for her to, like, keep keep uh, cool in and right. everything. Sure. So I'm lugging all this stuff and, and Higby's Beach, the trail is like super long. So you have to carry all this stuff down to the beach. Yes. And we had one of those regular pool wagons with like the hard plastic wheels yep. that worked like crap on we the We have beach. one. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. They don't work. They don't work. And I'm like, man, there's got to be a better way, right? Yeah. Well, then first, our, our first kid came along and then the amount of gear just quadrupled. You know, then you need a whole bunch more stuff to keep the kid, you know, fed and, and you know, diapers. He's and all adorable, that kind of by the way. He's on the website. He's he, what's his name? Miles. 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 He's two years old. Uh, so at that point, I was like, all right, we got to make an electric wagon. Yeah. Uh, so that's when I really started looking into it, and I made my own prototype. Uh, you know, and and then it, it, it just snowballed. Oh from there. my God, it's blossomed. Now you've got, you have 432 uh, being manufactured right now overseas, and. Yep. Uh, they're they're being shipped to the U.S. in time for for Memorial Day. Yeah, we're, in we're, time for yeah. Memorial Day, Mike, <laughs> because we want to we don't not not just want to sell 432 of these. We want to sell thousands of them. Yeah, if we yeah. can sell that uh, that many this year, then you know I can focus on this uh, gig full time. Yeah, and then hopefully uh, next year we'll double the amount and uh, have a lot more wagons for for. Yeah, that'd be great. T tell us about the makeup of the of the product and 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 what you developed here because. Uh, you know, I, I, we've talked a couple times. I've been on the website probably two dozen times. There's a lot of components in this thing, man, That's that are sure. really cool. Sure, yeah. So, I mean, it was my original idea uh, w with some of the features on the wagon, but I worked with a product development team. Uh, you know, prof I'm, I'm a civil engineer by trade, right. so I, like, design moving dirt. Yeah. Uh, I had to work with mechanical and industrial sure. and electrical engineers to design this thing. Yep. Um, so yeah, they did a fantastic job. They did a really good look of it. Um, it's got almost 100 components on it. Wow. Uh, aluminum frame and aluminum railing, so it'll last a really long time. Yep. Uh, and you know, it, it, it came together really well. Uh, it obviously has an electric motor, uh, batteries, right. uh, throttle, controller. Two batteries, two 12-volt yeah. batteries, right? 22 amp hours, so yep. it'll last a, a good amount of time. Mm -hmm. uh, certainly for anyone's beach trek uh, to the beach and back. And then you can charge your, your cell phone on it while you're on the beach because it's got USB charging ports. But one of the really nice features about the wagon is that it's got built-in pole holders. Uh, so you pop the side railings off, yep. and you can put your umbrella right through the frame and into the sand. There's no accessory that's needed. That's cool. Uh, that's different than anything else that's out there. Yeah. Uh, and it's got a removable wagon bed, so you can wash it off when, when you're done. And and the tires are really cool. They're uh, they're they're the balloon tires, which don't get stuck in the sand, and they right. traverse very nicely over over that uh, terrain. Right. Yep. Yep. The balloon uh, low pressure balloon wheels are like the the main difference between the lower end beach wagons and the higher end beach wagons. Yeah. You know, the lower end ones have either hard plastic wheels or, or rubber wheels that'll get stuck when you when you load it uh, with heavy weight. Right. The balloon wheels spread out the, the weight and kind of just drift right on top of the sand. What's the speed when you're, uh, when you're, wa is a typical walking speed like three sure. miles an hour or so? Yep, so we have a variable speed throttle. There's some safety features built into it so that if you floor the throttle to begin with, it'll slowly start off okay. uh, so it won't run you over or anything yeah but uh yeah top speed is somewhere around six seven miles an hour somewhere around wow there. that's moving i yeah i mean you can jog with it but you know it's, yeah it's really you don't want to do that it's, yeah. it's i walk mean walking speed is three four miles an hour right exactly yeah yeah 
So let's talk about the price point because I think a lot of people when they first see this, you know, are going to say, wow, that's that's uh, quite a bit of money. But when you talk about 100 different components in, in this beach wagon, you know, first of all, you got batteries, you've got uh, the uh, balloon wheels. I mean, they're expensive yeah. parts. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, we actually just posted a video on our, our YouTube page, so check out our YouTube page uh, about the price because the, the price is what we get a lot of questions about. You know, it retails for uh, $23.99. Right. Uh, and people are used to seeing, you know, if you go on Amazon, you do a search for beach wagons, you'll have a whole bunch of options that are around 150 bucks. But like I said, they have those cheap wheels that won't do well in the sand. So mm -hmm. if you're bringing a lot of gear to the beach, uh, you're going to want to invest in something that has balloon wheels. And once you start getting into the balloon wheels, I mean, you can check it out. Wheelies is the name brand in the U.S. Mm -hmm. um, one wheel, one 12-inch wheel is about 100 bucks when you get it delivered. Wow. Uh, so if you buy four of those, that's $400 just to start off. Yep. Now, Wheelies sells a, a beach wagon themselves. It has two of their, their larger wheels uh, with basically a plastic bucket. But it still requires a lot of manual pulling and pushing. Mm -hmm. So that starts off at around $500 after you consider delivery. Mm -hmm. Then they have other beach wagons with those wheels without motors uh, that have four wheels that you're looking at like $750. And then there's larger ones um, you know, that go for $1,400 without a motor, right? And yep. they have those large wheelies, balloon wheels on them. Um, so once you put a motor and, and um, batteries and controller and throttle and all those components that you need, you know, we have aluminum frame, aluminum railings. Yep. Uh, there's nothing out there that's going to be less than $2,000. Um, the, the, the main competition is the Sandhopper. Uh, you know, I invite you to check them out. They, they've been doing this for a long time, so i got to hand it to those guys. But mm -hmm. um, right now, for, for our size wagon, you can't get one for less than $3,000. Is that right? Yeah. No kidding. Yeah. This also has a reverse, right? You sure. Can, yeah. Yep. yeah, it has so. a reverse, has a neutral. So if you want to hook it up to the back of your... Uh, uh, you know, golf cart. Uh, a lot I know. A lot of people oh, yeah. beach sure, their golf sure, cart. Yeah. We've gotten those questions. Hey, could I tow behind my golf cart? Yeah, you can because uh, you know we have a neutral gear. Yeah. So you talked about the family. You talked about the fact that you know you, you're a civil engineer by by education and uh, by trade, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, but what was the like? Go back in time when you were a kid. You used to go to the beach all the time, right? Oh yeah. And you yeah. saw your parents like lugging stuff around and people carrying chairs and strapping them over their shoulder and they're, you know, like they've got sandals on, right? Or flip flops and they're trying to walk. You, oh, yeah. you probably, how long ago did you think about this idea? I was probably subliminally thinking about it, you know, when I was uh, I don't know, five, six years old, we had one of those little red wagons, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. you know, in, in our garage. So there's a picture on our website of when I was a kid and all my cousins, we had a party, we're right. all in the wagon, you know. Yeah. Uh, I mean, they're great beach, no beach. We, we ride our, our kid around the block, but um, I don't know, maybe from that point in time, I, I've been drawn to wagons. Um, but yeah, I, I spent a lot of time on the beach growing up. Uh, my aunt had a place in Wildwood Crest, uh, right on the beach, a little condominium. We would shove like 10, 15 people in a one bedroom condo yeah, you know, for two yeah, weeks. Yeah. And, uh, right, you had a blast. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah you had a blast. those were the days. But, but as you get older and you, and you have all this gear, I mean, especially, you know, especially you mentioned the umbrella earlier, right? Yeah. And the fact that, you know, back when we were kids, no one really cared about the sun baking our yeah, skin. Yeah. Now, you can't go to a beach, Mike, right. without seeing most, mostly umbrellas, yeah. Yeah, no I matter mean, where you go. There's a lot of tents, too. Like, a lot of people. A lot, and a lot of tents. I'm like, how do these people get these 10 by 10 tents down on the beach? They're heavy. Right. They're heavy. They're heavy. It makes it real easy with the, the Exactly. If you have a beach wagon like the E beach wagon, it's, it's a lot easier. So, so let's talk about... Tara's a marketing expert. Your yep. wife's a marketing expert, yep. and um, she's got a marketing firm, right? So she helps you with she helps the EB obviously. Yeah. With yeah. with marketing. Yeah. What's the sales uh, process going to be like? What are you sure. What are you thinking about with regard to sales? Yeah. So we're you know we're we're testing out the waters, right? So we have to figure out it, it, it's we, we've gotten some pre sales already. Um, Good. But you know. I think the most of our sales are going to be in season, right? People wait to the last minute to buy their stuff. Yeah. Um, so we have some opportunities that we're, we're looking into uh, with distributors, um, you know, but then we, we sell it at a lower price, the wholesale pricing. Right. Uh, or the distributor pricing. So we prefer to sell them all through our website if we can, uh, ebeachwagon.com. But uh, we also have some people that are interested in, in, in a referral bonus. We're setting up referral bonus for other people up and down the East Coast. Okay. Um, you know, so they'll 
they'll buy a wagon from us at a discounted price. That's smart. Uh, and then we'll give them, you know, postcards or whatever to uh, hand out to people they see on the beach and, yeah. and whoever they want and uh, give them a referral bonus that way. So, you know, through our website, I'll be doing a lot of field marketing myself uh, this summer. I'll be down there every weekend. Uh, plus, you know, I'll, I'll be taking a lot of four day weekends this summer yeah. Yeah. Uh, and hanging out down there, walking it up and down the beach, just trying to get, get uh, people Interesting. We have uh, we, we had a fellow on uh, not too long ago, Mike Silva, who uh, who started. He and his brother started um, QB Fifty Four, which is a it's a really cool game. It's a football game. You got chairs, movable chairs, and it, it turns into like a, a, a sport. And they started out like you and, and Tara and, the, and you know Eat Beach Wagon, and all of a sudden over the last you know, a couple of years, it's really exploded. Oh, that's great. I can see it happening with you. I, I hope I so. I really man. can, that's man. That's our dream. That's, I, th I think, you know, first of all, when you look at, when you look at the product, it's just, it's so well made. There, there's so many components. Now the slats, are they, are they wood or are they laminate? They are wood. They're, they're real wood. It's a super lightweight wood. I can't even pronounce the name of it. It's somewhere in Asia. Um, but it's not indigenous to this area. It's, a, it's lighter than pine wood, uh, but it has a coating on it so that it's protected from the weather. And they're all, are they all rivets on there or are they? Um, uh, they're are just they, bolts. Yeah, they're, they're bolts. They're bolts yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it's all bolted together. Yeah. Now, it's big enough to fit a couple of kids as well if you wanted to put your sure, children absolutely. in it. Absolutely. Yeah, right? I mean, we, we, carry, we carry our kids in it all the time. Um, you know, we're, we're going to have to. Uh, make up some language so that uh, it protects us, but it's totally a safe pro product. Uh, yeah. Next year, actually, so we're, we're trying to sell some wagons first before we really focus on the accessories. Yeah. But next year, we're hoping to have kid seats. To That's have great. In there that That's, you know, strap that them in. That is so that, cool. That's and get it approved through the process that you need to get it approved, uh, you know, to have kids in there. Yeah. Yeah, that, that is great. I am so excited for you guys, man. It's because it's such a great product and it, I mean, I'm looking at it, and uh, even though inside the wheel, we got to take a break in a, in a few minutes here, but uh, or another minute. But inside the wheel, Mike, that looks like um, you know, around the inside the tire. What is what is that rim? Yeah, it's a it's a plastic rim. The wheels were, were actually a really challenging part. I, I talked about wheelies before. Uh, they're like the number one name brand in the U.S. Yeah. Um, we had some supply issues. I tried to get the wheelies 12 inch wheel for the wagon. But literally, I could not get it until August. Wow! Uh, because they were sold out, they had an issue getting material. So okay. we went with a, um, you know, an alternative to that wheel. Uh, works really well. Yeah. Um, but you know, if we sell 432 wagons, I'm making my own wheels next year. Good for you. Good yeah, for to, you. To avoid that issue. All right, we're gonna have to take a quick break. Okay. Great. We'll be right back after this message with more from Mike Mogan and E Beach Wagon. After this message from our sponsors, don't go away. Come join us on April 25th at the Wall of Love and Hope as we fight to keep families together. Only you can make this change happen.
Welcome. I'm Barry Lefkowitz. I'm your host on New Perspectives on RVN TV. I come to you each week with issues and topics that you will generally find in the news. And if you're looking to be able to get caught up and know what's going on, then New Perspectives is the show for you on RVN TV. Look forward to having you. Welcome back to Rainmakers Roundup. I'm your host, Mark Iorio. I'm with Mike Mogan. Mike is the uh, founder and owner of E Beach Wagon, uh, which is the most amazing e cart uh, electronic beach cart I've ever seen, man. This Thank thing you. is cool. Thank you. you mentioned that other uh, uh, competitor. Yeah. What, what's their product like? I mean, Sandhopper. I mean, it's it's a little more industrial looking, okay. um, but you know it it functions just as well. Okay. Um, you know they've been doing it probably almost ten years. Have they? Uh, so he's been doing it for a little while. Okay. Yeah. So where, where so warehousing and distribution? Where's the where's the uh, distribution center in the U.S.? Sure. Yeah. So I mean I live in Westchester, Pennsylvania. So uh -huh. we're still looking for space in the Westchester area. Okay. We have units arriving in May. Okay. Um, you know worst comes to worst, we're just going to get a, a storage unit or something if we can't find a warehouse. Of course. Warehouse space is a little limited right now. For, yeah, it is. For, for it the is. The amount of space that we're looking for. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, we'll figure out a way. I have a nice sized garage that I can, uh, some we're offering, some of them fully assembled, some of them have limited assembly. Uh, now, so how much room do you there. need for 432 units approximately? <laughs> it depends on how long we hold on to them. So, you know, they're, they're coming in batches. So we're going to get 108, 108, 108, 108. Okay. Uh, so hopefully we get 108 and we sell them out. Uh, so we only need enough room to hold 108. Well, that's the goal. I mean, it's, you're up and down the East Coast. It's not just New Jersey. I mean, it's, this is all over. Yeah, I mean, we're going to sell uh, all over the country, right. all over the continental U.S. Uh, we've actually gotten orders from Australia that we're trying to work out. No too. kidding. Um, yeah, there, it, apparently we've got a, a couple inquiries from, from Australia, but mainly we're just going to deal with the continental U.S. Um, you know, because the you know it does weigh a little bit, so shipping yeah. it. Naturally. How much does it weigh? Uh, without the railings, it's 130 pounds. Okay. Uh, and then with the railings, it's 150 pounds. Okay. So yeah. it's pretty substantial. Yeah, yeah. And I it mean, comes in a pretty pretty sturdy box. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah the box is like this thick. Pretty you know, thick. It's, yeah, it's pretty thick, yeah. Yep. Um, exciting. Yeah. That's very, very exciting. I, I, am, I am looking forward to seeing all 432 of these things getting <laughs> sold. and Hopefully all on the Jersey Shore. Too. Yeah, right at the Jersey Shore. Yeah. Not hopefully all in Cape May, though, man. <laughs> can you you right. can have like an e-beach wagon party, man. Yeah, with, you know, cool. like everybody cool. gets together. Um, the, the plan, as you said, when, when you start selling this, uh, you're, you're working for a company right now, right? A, a, yeah. uh, an engineering firm yep. who've been very helpful for you, right? They, they've yeah. been very accommodating yep. and they understand. Yes, yeah, so I work for Rubinsky Engineering. They're a small traffic firm. Right. Uh, great, great folks. I mean, they really care about your life work balance. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, my owner, uh, when she started her company, she was on the fence of starting an engineering firm and, and you know, starting something with her passion with dogs. Uh, she went towards the engineering, but she totally understands, right? Uh, this is a passion of mine. It's something I really want to do. So they're supporting me, and, and, you know, and if, if this does blow up and I need to step out, you know, they, they totally understand. Yeah. You know, passion is so important, Mike, when, you're, when you build a business. And, you know, I've, I've always said to my, my kids that, Whatever's in here, whatever it is you're, you're passionate about, whatever it is you love doing when your feet hit the floor in the morning um, is something you ought to follow if you can. You know, it's not always doable because, you know, it requires an effort. And right. you said that, um, you know, probably subliminally you were thinking about this wagon when you were, <laughs> when you were a kid. Right. So this passion's been there for a long time and, and you know, what does it mean to you if, in all seriousness, forget the money part, right? Just forget the money part. What does it mean to you, what would it mean to you to see this product become not so much ubiquitous, but out right. there so that people and families are using it? Oh, man, that, that would be a really dream come true. Uh, you know, I, I really like to tinker with things and, and use the creative side of my mind to come up with ideas. Uh, yeah. Friends have a nickname for every time they have an idea, they call it a Mogan. But um, you know, just coming up with ideas and, and seeing other people benefit from it uh, w would just mean the world to me. Uh, and, and getting to do that full time, uh, you know, to, to support me and my family, 
uh, meanwhile, making others' lives easier. Yeah. Like my mantra is, you know, work smarter, not harder. Right. I, I got some uh, private YouTube videos out there. I figure out easier ways to do things, and and this is certainly an easier way to do, you know, uh, to to do your beach commute. And um, you know, the, the older you are, it, 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 the harder it is to harder to is to do. Out. Yeah, I know. I mean it. I, and mm -hmm. and you know, even us. I said we have a place in Ship Bottom, and you know, if we carry a couple of chairs, my wife is a. Um, Patricia, if you're watching this, when you watch this, this is not a knock, my dear. This is, this is, I'm telling Mike the God's honest truth. She packs a lot of stuff. Now, when we get to the beach, she has everything. Right. So I can't, Mike, I can't argue with it because I'll say, hon, do you have those yeah, cheese yeah, yeah. curls or whatever? Yeah. She goes, yeah, here they are, right here. Right. Do you have a drink? Yes, here it is, right, right. here. But you had to carry that stuff. I had to yeah, carry it. Right, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I exactly. had to carry it. And I will tell you this. Last year, um, I had a uh, situation where we had a party at the house, and I had to go get my brother-in-law a six-pack of, uh, not beer, but diet soda, yep. right? So I took my bicycle. And on the way back, and I, I'm a pretty good athlete, so it's not like, um, you know, uncoordinated. My foot slipped off the pedal. Now, if I had the e-beach wagon with me, I would have taken everything with me. I would have walked six, seven miles, six miles an hour, or, or hustled it back, and I wouldn't have fallen off the bike and scratched my leg up. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, this really does make it easier for everyone. But the thing that I see, Mike, honestly, is that the fact that you conceived this idea, right, and then went to product development and had it designed. And then you went to a manufacturer and had it built. And then you and Tara put together the marketing plan and the sales effort to have it sold. Right. To watch that progression. Yeah. So I, you know, I wouldn't have been able to do it without Tara. Uh, oh, I know. You know, she, I know. She got behind me 100% on this idea. Yep. When some of my other ideas in the past, she just you know, took a back seat, uh, and obviously they didn't work out. Yeah. Um, so having her on board and you know, her expertise uh, to help sell them, you know, and market them yeah. and sell them was huge. And, and I, I wouldn't be able to do it without her, yeah. honestly. If you were to look back on, uh, on the last few years, what would you have done? What do you think you would have done differently, if anything? Yeah, I mean, uh, we're approaching Memorial Day pretty soon here, right? And I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for the units and we're anticipating to get them in right before Memorial Day. Yeah. I, I just wish I had a little bit more breathing room, right? So I w would have started a little bit earlier. Yeah. And I mean, we started this process, uh, the, the product development and everything in uh, the late fall of 2020. So it was a year plus wow. of product development and sampling and prototyping. Mm -hmm. um, you know, having gone through this for the first time, uh, you know, it, it takes longer, everything takes longer than you expected. It, nothing is ever easy. Yeah. Right? Uh, so I would have started even earlier. But that's pretty quick. I mean, if you think about it, you know, that cycle is pretty quick from, right, from product development to prototype to manufacturing. I in, mean, in hindsight, uh, you know, it's, it's not that long. Yeah. Uh, you know, some, sometimes it takes two years. Um, sure. But we're, we're getting up close to two years, I would yeah. say. Um, but yeah, I just would have, wish I would have started a little bit earlier. Yeah. So, uh, a Mike Mogan moment, let's uh, tell me about uh, the advice you would give a younger Mike Mogan as he's coming out of uh, maybe going into college, right, going through college and then coming out of college. What would you say to a younger guy like? Yeah, now I'm going to sound old, but um, you know, not I, that old. <laughs> you know, I've been in uh, the civil engineering industry for, for 21 years now, uh, and I, I think I'm finally getting to the point where I'm pursuing something that I... Um, I'm really passionate about it and, and, and I can really enjoy for the rest of my life to, to set up you know, my kids in the future. Yeah. Um, I, I would just say, you know, be patient. Uh, you may think you have all the answers uh, going into college, but uh, you may not, right? You may, you may end up in an industry where um, that you figure out later on in life that's not for you, and that's totally fine. Uh, just work hard the entire way, be patient. Uh, and if you have dreams and aspirations, don't give up on them. Yeah, because follow those, right? Maybe 20 years later, uh, you'll, you'll actually be in a, a more comfortable situation in your life where, where you're able to pursue those things. I mean, you know, I had to pay the bills uh, yeah. right out of college. I moved out of my parents' house, and, and I did what was necessary to do that. And don't get me wrong, civil engineering is a great profession. Uh, but, you know, there's a lot of red tape and, and uh, you know, things that I, I wish I could do different. But... Um, 
you know, it, it was a great profession for me until I could figure out what to do next. Well, what's interesting is you said that, you know, you, you've got to create a mindset. You know, you're coming up with a lot of ideas and they call them Mogans. Yeah, uh, some people do. <laughs> That's pretty funny. But um, so, so, you know, engineers, a lot of people think that engineers are on the, um, on the you know, if you did a disk model, you're kind of the, the C on the disk model where everything is inside the box and you've got to pay close attention to detail and, and you do. But there's also the other side of, of someone like you, Mike, that yep. has that really innovative, uh, outside the box, um, you know, creative mindset. And, and that's what it takes to do something like for that, sure. right? For sure, yep. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm, like you said, I have that creative side, mm -hmm. and I'm also that real detail-oriented side, so I'm, I'm kind of stuck in between the, the, the two of them, but yeah. uh, the creative side plays a big, big role in my life. Yeah. Um, you know, and, and, and there's a point in time where you say to yourself, you know, um, I, I, I think this is a great idea, but then the practical side says, this is what I do, this is what I need to do in order to get it out to market, and that's why I love what you have done with this. It, it is just the one of the most inspiring things that I've seen because you know when you invent something, um, you, you've got to bring a lot of times. I, you know we all invent things in our heads, but in order to get it to the point where it's ready to be manufactured and sold, right. that's that's a whole other thing. So yeah, and congratulations thank on you. that. Thank You're welcome. You. I, I, I want to ask you this uh, last question is, 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 about, is about inspiration and where you find it. Uh, you know, who, who does it come from or where does it come from? So you're, you're probably thinking something, something else besides Shark Tank. Uh, I'm a huge Shark Tank fan. I yeah. love that show and yeah. I, I'd love to do that someday. But uh, Maybe you will. <laughs> Maybe you will. On a more serious note, um, certainly the inspiration comes from my family. Yeah. Um, you know, it, my family is the reason why I'm at this point. Yeah. Uh, coming up with this idea, yep. uh, you know, spending time with them and the kids and, and the wife is even involved in, in, in the company. You know, we can all work together. Uh, hopefully someday uh, this business grows to the point where, you know, my kids can help. I mean, they're already helping out. We're taking pictures of them and putting them in yeah, videos yeah, and stuff. Yeah, exactly. But, yeah. Uh, that's not by choice. You know, they don't have a choice. So, no, I mean, hopefully we're, we put ourselves in a good situation where we can help them follow their dreams. If it's working for us, uh, you know, the family business, that would be great. Um, but uh, at least, uh, you know, uh, we've been through it and, and learned from the School of Hard Knocks, so we'll yep. be able to uh, show them the right way. Can't tell you how much I enjoyed this, man. This has been a lot of fun. Thank you. You're Thank welcome. I enjoyed it as well. That camera right there to your left, uh, tell everybody how to get in touch with you and uh, eBeachWagon. Sure. So uh, just go to our website, eBeachWagon.com. All of our contact information is on there. We have a new phone number, so it's 855-E-WAGONS. Uh, be sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and uh, we post a lot of videos on, on YouTube too, just like uh, the, the price video. So uh, follow us there, and then you'll keep up to date with the latest news and information. Thanks, Mike. Thank it's you. A pleasure. Thank Absolutely. you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is a wrap for Rainmakers Roundup. Please look up E Beach Wagon. This thing is phenomenal. Uh, I, I, I am hoping and praying that Mike and, and the team sell all 432 units that are coming in before Memorial Day. Get on the uh, website, uh, ebeachwagon.com. Yep. Get on the bandwagon. Get on the bandwagon, baby. <laughs> All right, we'll see you next time. Have a good week.